Thank you, Avram. Dear friends, I am very glad that our moderator, Avram, has offered me to make opening remarks, remarks in this large and highly experienced panel. In this panel, we were asked to try to answer the question, how and whether can we achieve unity without uniformity among the Jewish people? This is the biggest challenge that faces all of us who are concerned with the future of the Jewish people. Following me, you hear the participants on this panel, each one of whom represents different parts of the Jewish world and different groups of Israeli society. All of them will tell you their thoughts and ideas how to face this challenge and how to reach our common goal of making Jewish people united. I believe, I strongly believe, that it can be done by strengthening a Jewish peoplehood. What does it mean? For me, Jewish peoplehood is mindset of collectivity, solidarity, and mutual responsibility that has been uniting our people throughout history, especially during times of hardship and persecution. While in the past this connection was based on religious values and Jewish tradition, today the situation is totally different. Historical and cultural changes, as well as the creation of the, of, of the State of Israel and the strengthening of the various Jewish communities around the world, have brought a different pattern in interaction between the diverse sections, diverse sections of the Jewish people. Today, Jews are mostly equal and influential members of open and free societies where they enjoy enlightenment and globalization. As a result, on a personal level, Jews define themselves by more than one identity. For me, who was born in Russia and made Aliyah after years of being involved in the Jewish world, the questions of whether the answers to a Jewish Renaissance lay in religious, cultural, Zionistic, historical, or other frameworks were always present, present in my mind. Back in Russia, I sense that there are all contributory factors and none were all encompassing because there was a feeling of something which much bigger that reflected itself in a deep pride of belonging to this thing called the Jewish people. Therefore, I always involved myself almost simultaneously in all of the above areas. This, however, is not the situation I found after my Aliyah and my decision to continue devoting my resources to help bring about a renaissance of the Jewish people. I have found divisiveness, competition, mutual lack of respect for each other between the holders of different ideologies, not only among those who live in Israel, but also between them and the other Jewish communities in the world. To overcome this, we need to get to know each other, to nurture the feeling of our mutual responsibility and to strengthen our collective Jewish identity. Only though, only through, the, through this, we'll guarantee our future as a nation. The old expression, call Israel arevim zelaze, all Jews are responsible for each other, was, not, uh, was and remains true today, perhaps more than ever. I think that the road there, there lies through education, but also through personal experiences that will expose the new generation to Jewish history, Jewish values, and morals. To me, it appears that uh, the ideology of people who can possibly offer the answer if it's knowledge-based and presented in a, com in a compelling manner. And I very much look to the deliberations of this panel to help us advance in the right direction. I wish us all interesting and fruitful discussion. Toda.